do you wonder sometimes what kind of diagrams to show for your site analysis or how to show them? A diagram that is clear and understandable. I'm Ahmed Zibir and this is the Insider's Pro Guide on how to architect and how to design. On this channel we do architectural skills, rendering, design processes. In this video I will guide you through a major access diagram that I did for a project I'm still working on. If you're a regular watcher welcome back and if you're new make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos on this channel. First thing I did was to get a line drawing for the whole site which I got from a website called Digimap. If you want to know how to get line drawings, Surviving Architecture did a video which I will have linked in the description down below. Since all I need is black lines, I selected the whole site, went to the layer menu and turned it black. I also needed a plan so the quickest thing to do is to go to Google Maps and use a snipping tool and copy. Then we go to Photoshop and we open an A3 document. Now the most annoying thing was to align both sides and image since they were on different scale it was a pain in the ass to make it fit. The reason for the site analysis is to show the major transport routes from the bus and train station since those are the major public transport and it's to show how easy it is to go to the site from surrounding areas. I then used a thick red line as thick as the road and went over the major roads. To make sure your dotted lines are all equal I went to the brush properties and changed the scale to create these equal dots. To make the site more central I moved all the layers and rotated it within the grid. After realizing that the render was too narrow I had to make it larger. I then highlighted the roads using the polygonal lasso tool. I right clicked and clicked on select inverse and deleted the layer. I had to duplicate it as I will need it later. To show these major nodes around the site I created a funnel type shape to show how the nodes radiate from the roads towards the attraction. To create a more interesting background from the real map I used the square brush to make an interesting background around the main road. I then selected the squares as I did them on a new layer and moved the selection to, to the duplicated layer and clicked remove and it gave me something like this. Now the balance between the plan and side plan is too much so I will erase some of the unimportant features keeping the important ones such as canals, rail lines, major attractions and big housing blocks. To keep the continuity in colors I have marked the gateways of these nodes in red and added a white square just to make them stand out a little bit more. I then added a drop shadow just to give more hierarchy to the actual road. I then added the dotted lines again which I would use to put the name of the spaces and the areas. I then open Google Earth as they give you the exact location for the bus stops. So I open both side by side, mark with the orange square using the square brush to show them and then created a stroke. 
and this is the final diagram and this is how it looks on a larger site analysis poster which I showed previously in my previous video. I'm Ahmed Zubair and this is the Architecture Insider. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, subscribe as it really helps the channel to grow.